Hello, listeners and new friends, too. A few of you have helpfully let us know that you really enjoyed the audiobook, Never Too Quiet, that we put out a few weeks ago. So we thought, why not bring you another one? The Mouse Who Danced the Hora. Tilly Moskowitz lives in the walls of a synagogue. She normally stays out of sight, but the joy of a wedding party dancing the Hora lures her out. After all, it's a mitzvah to dance at a wedding. Will Tilly be allowed to join in entertaining the bride and groom? Let's find out together. The Mouse Who Danced the Hora, written by Pamela Mayer, illustrated by Christine Davigny, published by PJ Publishing. In a teeny tiny hole in the wall of the social hall at Temple Shalom, there lives a mouse. Her name is Tilly Mouskowitz. When Tilly hears music, she peeks out at the door of her mouse house. Music means a celebration at Temple Shalom's social hall. A wedding reception? How nice! Tilly says. May the bride and groom know nothing but happiness. Tilly's whiskers twitch as the band plays her favorite song. Such nice music! Now everyone will dance the hora. If only Tilly could join the circle and dance the hora too, just as the people do at many Temple Shalom celebrations. But for a mouse, it's not, Tilly says, stepping forward with the left foot towards the right, and then forward with the right foot to match. The people turn this way and that as they dance in a large circle. Tilly dances too, singing in her wee mouse voice. The dancers stand in place and clap their hands. Tilly scurries forward and claps her paws together too. Two chairs are carried into the center of the circle. One for the bride, one for the groom. The chairs are lifted up high. Tilly giggles. <laughs> it is a mitzvah, a good deed to make the bride and groom happy on their wedding day. The bride and groom sway in their chairs. The people dance around them. The band plays, and Tilly scampers right into the horror circle. The bride and groom, still seated in their chairs, are brought back down to the floor. Everyone else runs away. <sighs> Tilly looks at the bride and groom. The bride and groom look back at Tilly. Stepping forward with her left paw, Tilly brings her right paw to match. She steps behind with her left paw and again brings the right to match. Tilly turns this way and that. This little mouse is dancing the hora, the groom says. The bride smiles. She is. Standing as one, the bride and groom push away their chairs. They form a circle around Tilly and dance. Tilly dances too. The musicians play the hora song once more. Hava nagila, hava nagila, hava nagila. Let us rejoice, let us rejoice. Let us rejoice. One by one, then two by two, the wedding guests return to the dance floor. Venishmeha, and be glad. When the song ends, Tilly bows low. She hears a cheer, and then another as everyone claps for her. Tilly's whiskers twitch with happiness. <sighs> so much joy, such celebration. How nice it is to dance the hora. The tired little mouse hurries home. She is asleep as soon as her head touches the pillow. <coughs> Tilly wakes in the middle of the night. She yawns and stretches. <sighs> Temple Shalom is dark and quiet. The wedding ended long ago. Tilly's tummy growls. So maybe I'll find a crumb of challah, a morsel of cheese left over. Right outside her door is a surprise, a teeny tiny slice of wedding cake, just the right size. Next to it is a note which reads, to the mouse who danced the hora, from the bride and groom. If you've ever been to a Jewish wedding, you've probably danced the Hora. 
the dance that Tilly does in this book. The Hora is perhaps the most recognizable Jewish dance. It actually became popular in the first half of the 20th century when members of early kibbutzim, that's Hebrew for communal settlements, danced into the night after long days of working in the fields. Let's talk about this together. Why do you think Tilly wants to dance for the couple? Why are the guests afraid of Tilly at first? How do they feel when she starts dancing? What is your favorite way to dance? How do you feel when you do it? To learn more about Dancing the Hora and to find more books just like this one, visit pjlibrary.org. And don't forget, we'll be back soon with another folktale from Have I Got a Story for You.